The utility segment is among the most competitive and creative parts of the automotive market. In this segment alone, there are over 80 different choices. Add to that the emergence of crossover vehicles and the competition increases exponentially. Even with all these choices, one nameplate stands above the rest. Chevrolet Tahoe, the full-size SUV sales leader since 2001. After its complete redesign for the 2007 model year, Tahoe is largely unchanged for 2008. Model selection for the Tahoe is the same as it was last year, except for the new Tahoe Hybrid, which will be available in the fourth quarter of 2007. Tahoe's trim package designations are LS in the 1LS trim, LT in 1LT, 2LT, and 3LT trim, and the luxurious LTZ in 1LZ trim. The new Tahoe Hybrid has a 1HY trim designator. The trim package used for this competitive comparison is the LTZ. The competitor chosen to go up against the Tahoe is the Ford Expedition in its Eddie Bauer trim. The Expedition was totally new in 2007 and like the Tahoe is largely carryover for 2008. In addition to providing key product comparisons for the two vehicles, we'll also use this icon throughout the video to highlight advantages of the 2008 Tahoe LTZ over the Expedition Eddie Bauer. For additional competitive information, review the 2008 Tahoe Sales Consultant's Competitive Comparison Reference Guide that accompanies this DVD. For more in-depth information on Tahoe, be sure to review the 2008 Chevrolet Truck Product Training Library materials. Both the Tahoe LTZ and Expedition Eddie Bauer are equipped with V8 engines as standard equipment. The standard engine in the Tahoe LTZ with two-wheel drive is a Vortec 5.3 liter SFI V8. This iron block engine has an output of 320 horsepower, 340 pounds-feet of torque, and active fuel management. The four-wheel drive version of the Tahoe LTZ receives the same engine with flex fuel capability. The flex fuel is an option on the two-wheel drive Tahoe. The engine used in the Expedition Eddie Bauer is the 5.4 liter Triton V8. There are no optional engines for the Expedition. The Triton features Ford's three-valve per cylinder technology and has an output of 300 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque. So Tahoe wins in horsepower and is slightly under the Expedition in torque. Also, the 5.4 liter Triton used in the Expedition is not E85 compatible. For transmissions, the Tahoe uses a four-speed automatic transmission with overdrive. Expedition models are equipped with a six-speed automatic transmission. However, even with this six-speed transmission, Expedition can't match Tahoe on fuel economy. Expedition comes in at 12 miles per gallon city and 18 miles per gallon on the highway. Tahoe beats the Expedition by a healthy two miles per gallon in both estimated measurements. When it comes to maximum towing capacity, the Expedition comes in at 9,200 pounds compared to Tahoe's 8,200 pounds, which is more than enough to pull most trailerable boats. For four-wheel drive, both trucks use part-time four-wheel drive systems, auto track on Tahoe and control track on Expedition. These systems require the driver to actuate the four-wheel drive mode or two-wheel drive mode based on current road conditions or vehicle use. Also, both have an auto four-wheel drive mode, which when engaged, monitors vehicle driving conditions and regulates the torque delivered to the front axle to optimize traction and vehicle handling, as road conditions dictate. There's a big difference in rear differentials. The Expedition Eddie Bauer does not have a limited slip differential available, limiting its off-road and poor road condition operation capabilities. In contrast, the Tahoe LTZ comes standard with an automatic locking rear differential. The automatic locking differential provides instantaneous traction to both rear wheels when road conditions warrant it.
Chevrolet and Ford both use the latest in suspension technology to provide exceptional ride and handling. Up front, the Tahoe uses a coilover shock style suspension, with the shocks riding in lightweight, high strength aluminum lower control arms. This is effective in reducing the unsprung mass of the vehicle, resulting in a noticeably smoother ride and less jarring when the vehicle hits a pothole. Ford uses coilover shocks in a short long arm type suspension. However, it uses stamped Ford steel control arms and cast iron knuckles. It's heavier and not as responsive as Tahoe. On the rear, Tahoe uses a five link suspension riding on coil springs. These components support a rigid axle. The Expedition uses an independent rear suspension with a multi-link design and coilover shocks. Both the front and rear suspensions of Expedition have a stabilizer bar. Because of Tahoe's suspension design, a front stabilizer bar is all that's required. An air spring type load leveling suspension is an available option on the Expedition. It helps keep the vehicle level from front to rear when the vehicle is heavily loaded or is pulling a trailer with significant tongue weight on the platform hitch. Tahoe's answer to the Expedition's air leveling suspension is the Auto Ride, which is standard and only available on the LTZ. This suspension can automatically control shock damping on a continuous real-time basis to minimize the effect of road imperfections during normal driving. In addition, Auto Ride works with Tow Haul Mode to enhance driver control and vehicle stability while hauling a trailer. Taking a look at the tires and wheels, the Tahoe LTZ has a standard 20-inch polished aluminum wheel. There are no optional wheels, however, six chrome 20-inch and three chrome 22-inch wheels are available at Chevy Accessories. The Expedition Eddie Bauer comes standard with 17-inch machined aluminum wheels. Expedition offers an 18-inch machined aluminum wheel and a 20-inch chrome-clad aluminum wheel as options. Because the 20-inch wheel is standard on the Tahoe LTZ, the win goes to Chevrolet. Both the Tahoe and Expedition feature power steering with rack and pinion steering gears. The steering system on the Expedition features variable effort. Each system provides responsive steering as well as exceptional road feel. Also, both are equipped with stability control systems, Stabilitrack with proactive roll avoidance on the Tahoe, and Advanced Track with roll stability control on the Expedition. After receiving full redesigns in 2007, Tahoe and its arch rival Ford Expedition continue to fight it out for market share. As it has for most of its life, Tahoe leads the way as America's most popular full-size SUV. What's the reason for this popularity? The answer is this. Tahoe has continually set the pace for full-size SUVs. When it comes to being multi-capable, no vehicle matches Tahoe. Tahoe is the one SUV that has it all. Exceptional styling, equipment levels that provide high value for the purchaser, passenger carrying, cargo hauling and trailering capabilities, as well as that important SUV quality, the ability to get off the beaten path with a high level of confidence. Tahoe is a can-do SUV. It will be up against the Eddie Bauer version of the Expedition. Before getting into the comparison, here are the notable changes for Expedition in the 2008 model year. First, there's now a King Ranch version of the Expedition with a very high level of luxury, highlighted by the saddle leather seating surfaces. Other changes include the fact that power retractable running boards are now optional on the Eddie Bauer, Limited, and King Ranch. There's an optional rear view camera system, which shows an image in the rear view mirror. And 4x4 models now have a standard 3.31 rear axle instead of a 3.73. Most likely this change was to improve the fuel economy. However, the trade-off is that it may have a negative effect on performance. The 3.73 to 1 rear axle is an option. Like the Tahoe, the Eddie Bauer version of the Expedition has three-row seating and is configured for eight passengers. The Tahoe can accommodate a maximum of nine passengers in the LS. Let's take a look at the measurements and see how these competitors stack up. Tahoe and Expedition are similarly sized with Tahoe being slightly wider 
with a wider front track for better stability and ride. Moving to the interior, as the front row measurements show, Tahoe wins in all categories over the Expedition. In the second row, the measurements are very similar, with Tahoe winning in shoulder and hip room. In the third row, Tahoe provides more shoulder room than its Ford competitor. For active families, cargo carrying capacity is always important. Here, the Tahoe wins in maximum cargo volume behind the first row and also behind the second row. However, Expedition provides slightly more cargo volume behind the third seat. Also note that Tahoe has easier access to the cargo area. The door opening height dimension is greater than Expedition. Plus, the ground to load floor dimension is slightly under two inches less than the Expedition making it easier to place groceries, luggage, or other items into the rear of the vehicle. The Tahoe LTZ comes standard with seven passenger seating and has an eight passenger configuration available. Up front, both the driver and front passenger seats are full feature leather trim buckets with 10-way power, power lumbar, heated cushion and back, and two position driver memory. There's a full center console between the seats. The Expedition Eddie Bauer comes standard with eight passenger seating. Up front, there are low back two-tone leather trim bucket seats with 10-way power memory driver seat that includes power lumbar and recline. The passenger seat has six-way power and manual lumbar and recline. Heated and cooled bottom and back seat cushions are an available option. In the second row, the Tahoe LTZ has leather trim captain's chairs as standard equipment. A split folding bench seat is an option. Innovations on the second row for the Tahoe include the fold and tumble feature that allows easy access to the third row. On the Expedition Eddie Bauer, a split folding second row seat is standard. Captain's chairs are an option. Even though Expedition's second row seats fold flat with the load floor, Tahoe has a definite advantage in that the fold and tumble feature can be power actuated, a standard feature on the LTZ. Expedition does not have a similar feature. Expedition Eddie Bauer is equipped with a powerful third row seat as standard equipment. It folds flat without the need for seat removal on the rare occasions when more cargo room is needed. When it comes to audio systems, there's plenty of selection on both competitors. The Tahoe LTZ is extremely well equipped with an AM FM stereo that includes an MP3 compatible in-dash six disc CD changer, nine Bose speakers, rear audio controls mounted on the rear of the floor console and dual headphone jacks. Also, there are audio controls mounted on the leather wrapped steering wheel. Also for 2008, XM satellite radio is a standard feature. All Tahoes also have an audio jack standard for iPod and other music devices. Available features include a rear seat DVD entertainment system and navigation radio. The Expedition with the Eddie Bauer trim is not nearly as well equipped. It has Ford's audio file system, which includes an AM FM radio and in-dash six CD changer with MP3 capability. However, there are only six speakers. Steering wheel mounted audio controls are standard. When it comes to options, the Expedition can be equipped with a rear seat DVD based entertainment system, navigation radio and Sirius satellite radio. However, Expedition's rear DVD system is much bulkier and it takes up a great deal of space on the headliner. A look at the inside rearview mirror shows that the Tahoe LTZ has a standard auto dimming mirror with outside temperature indicator and compass. The Expedition Eddie Bauer also has an auto dimming inside rearview mirror. The compass and exterior temperature readouts are included on the message center. Both vehicles are equipped with automatic headlamp control. However, only the Tahoe has daytime running lamps as standard equipment. It's an option on the Expedition. Another convenience factor to consider is that with the standard OnStar system, Tahoe models are equipped with hands-free calling capability. Even on a luxury model like the Eddie Bauer, this feature is not available from the manufacturer. A final point to note on the Tahoe LTZ is that there are certain features not available on the Expedition Eddie Bauer. These include a remote starting system, heated windshield wiper fluid, rain sense wipers, and OnStar with the available turn-by-turn -turn navigation. It should be noted on the remote start that this is available on the Expedition as a dealer installed option.
As the top-selling full-size SUV, Tahoe proudly and capably carries the Chevrolet Bowtie emblem. When it comes to quality, reliability, and durability, there is a difference in overall value and the ability to provide QRD to their owners. The maximum oil change interval on Tahoe is 10,000 miles. It's 7,500 miles for the expedition. Chevrolet is able to set this standard because of the oil life monitor technology of the Tahoe. When it comes to the coolant change interval, Ford's is 100,000 miles or five years, whichever comes first. With its Dex Cool Coolant, Chevrolet's coolant change interval is five years or 150,000 miles. Chevy still has a significant mileage advantage. Warranty is another area where Tahoe, which features the best ownership package in the industry, outperforms the Expedition. Both Tahoe and Expedition have a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty for three years or 36,000 miles. For powertrain, there's a significant mileage win because the Tahoe's new warranty period is five years, 100,000 miles, compared to Expedition's five years or 60,000 miles. For rust-through protection, Tahoe has the edge with six years or 100,000 miles, while Expedition offers five years with unlimited mileage. And when the unexpected happens, help isn't far away, as the manufacturers of both vehicles offer roadside assistance. Ford's is only five years or 60,000 miles, but the new GM warranty is five years or 100,000 miles. Also, GM provides courtesy transportation when warranty repair is required, a convenience not offered by Ford. As full-size SUVs, Tahoe and Expedition are typically thought of as family haulers, so safety and security is a high priority. Chevrolet designs and builds Tahoe with an eye toward continuous safety. Every vehicle has many designed-in features that help protect vehicle occupants before, during, and after a collision. Tahoe LTZ and Expedition begin with a host of standard features that help keep occupants safe safety cage construction, dual stage frontal impact airbags, front passenger sensing system for the front outboard seat, head curtain side airbags, three point safety belts in all positions, and the latch child safety seat retention system. However, Expedition would seem to have one extra feature over Tahoe, seat mounted front side airbags. Tahoe's head curtain side airbags are designed to extend downward to reduce the risk of injury in side impact collisions similar to Ford's roof-mounted and seat-mounted airbags. To help drivers avoid a collision, both vehicles have four-wheel disc brakes with ABS, and both are equipped with stability control systems as well as tire pressure monitors. Also, daytime running lamps, standard equipment on all Chevrolet models for several years, are an option on the Expedition. And Ford can't match the additional safety and peace of mind that comes after a crash with GM standard OnStar with its advanced automatic crash notification. Plus, OnStar includes services like stolen vehicle location assistance and remote door unlocking and many more. Buyers of the Tahoe can feel confident that they're driving a vehicle with a wide range of safety and security features. The bottom line is that the Tahoe is a more luxurious and capable vehicle than the Expedition. For power and performance, one look at the Tahoe shows that the standard Vortec 5.3 liter has more horsepower than the Triton 5.4 liter. And don't forget active fuel management, a feature not found on Expedition's Triton engine. Also, flex fuel can be obtained on a Tahoe, but not on the Expedition. And Expedition can't match Tahoe on fuel economy. When it comes to ride and handling, don't forget that the Tahoe LTZ comes standard with 20-inch wheels and tires. The standard size on the Expedition Eddie Bauer is 17-inch. In the comfort and convenience category, Tahoe LTZ racks up wins with a sleek exterior style, whereas the Expedition has a boxy look reminiscent of Ford's F-Series trucks. When it comes to interior roominess and cargo capacity, Tahoe leads or is very close to Expedition in the most important categories. 
Plus, look to Tahoe with high-end innovations that are not available on Expedition Eddie Bauer. Power fold and tumble second row seats and Bose speakers come immediately to mind. But there are many more besides these. In quality, reliability, and durability, Tahoe chalks up huge wins when it comes to overall cost of ownership. Because of features like the oil monitoring system and Dexcool, it's going to cost significantly less to keep a Tahoe properly maintained. And in the area of safety and security, no company can compete with GM's OnStar. It's a standard feature on the Tahoe and is unavailable on the Expedition at any price. The final point is this. Even though the Expedition is a formidable competitor, Tahoe comes through with so many wins that it's really no contest. Tahoe is sure to continue as the top-selling full-size SUV.